Mr. President, we are grateful both to the Special Envoy for the Great Lakes Region, Huang Xia, for his substantive briefing, and also to the Chair of the Peace Building Commission, Mr. Mohamed Idris, for his report on its work in that region. We share the Secretary General's report's concerns regarding the humanitarian situation in the Great Lakes region, which has worsened with the pandemic. Countries in the sub-region have seen more than 1.8 million coronavirus cases, leading to more than 58,000 deaths. According to IMF, IMF rather updated forecasts, there has been a significant economic slump and the threat of a debt crisis is on the rise. Something that's continuing to have an impact on the situation in the region is the situation in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is still extremely complex. The worst security situation is in the provinces of Ituri and northern Kivu, where there's increased activity of the Allied Democratic Forces and other armed groups. From December last year alone, as a result of armed group activity, more than 200 civilians have died. We are also concerned that the Congolese authorities have not yet been able to solve the problem of the illegal exploitation of and removal from the DRC of natural resources. These are used by in illegal armed formations to finance their activities. We're convinced that a purely military solution will not bring a long-term stabilization of the situation to the DRC. We are closely following developments in the domestic political situation in the country. We trust that the new government that is due to be formed shortly will be able to re-establish control over the security situation. We trust it will help to improve the humanitarian situation, promote social and economic development, settle border disputes with its neighbours and also inter-community conflicts as well as decrease levels of crime. Given this background, we welcome regional states' desires to develop cooperation to fight emerging challenges inter alia collectively. We note the agreement reached at the November summit of the International Conference of the Great Lakes Region on coordinating work on members of armed groups captured in border regions. As part of the SADC community, measures to reconfigure and the situation in order to support the Force Intervention Brigade of MINUSCO have been taken. Contacts are underway to develop cooperation in the area of the economy and also bilateral trade. We note progress in relationships between, or rather in the relationship between Rwanda and Uganda, achieved through the mediation efforts of the presidents of the DRC and Angola. We believe that the chairpersonship of the DRC president, Mr. Chikzekedi, to the African Union will uh, bring additional attention to this issue. We also believe that all these efforts warrant the wholehearted support of the international community. We welcome the work of the Special Envoy, the Secretary General in this area, which is greatly needed. We believe all countries need to implement the peace, security and cooperation framework of the DRC and the GLR, the Great Lakes region. We're convinced that the UN strategy for peace consolidation, conflict prevention and conflict resolution will give new impetus to collective efforts of regional players. We note the special envoys work on drafting a plan of action to implement the strategy. We also support the good offices of Mr. Huang Xia on fostering dialogue, building trust and normalizing relations between countries in the region. In conclusion, we would like to underscore that Russia into Alia as a member of the group of friends of the Great Lakes region, intends to continue to assist the peace process in the DRC and assist with the stabilization of the region as a whole. Thank you very much indeed.